You're watching The Breakfast Club. Good morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Angela Yee, Charlemagne the God. We are The Breakfast Club. Now, if you just join us, Charlemagne gave a couple people donkey today this morning. Yes, uh, John Singer. Uh, hold on, I got gas. Yeah, what Jesus is going Christ. on over It's there. that Black China's boyfriend song. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Give John Skipper, president of ESPN, and uh, Bob Iger, president of Disney, the biggest he heart. Disney is uh, the parent company of ESPN. So I feel like those two are the res responsible for the suspension, suspension of Jamel Hill for two weeks. All right. And if now, they're not responsible, they can intervene. Now, we're talking Jamel Hill. Should she have been suspended? That is the question. Absolutely not. She should not have been suspended. I am a radio personality. DJ Envy, you're a radio personality. Angela Lee is a radio personality. Correct. Content is king for us. I believe in uh, free speech. It is our constitutional right. As long as we're not saying anything that is detrimental to somebody's health, that is getting somebody hurt or getting somebody killed, we should be able to express ourselves how we want, when we want, at all times. All right. I, I agree with you. I, I don't think she should be suspended unless it's something disparaging. All she said was her feelings. She didn't yes. say to boycott. She said, no, I'm not saying to boycott. Yes. And she's saying, she just, yeah, stop holding these players, you know, to this standard. Absolutely. Listen, Jerry Jones is violating his players' constitutional rights by right. not letting, giving them the right to protest. ESPN is violating Jamel Hill's constitutional rights by not allowing her freedom of speech. Like, right. how is she not supposed to talk about what everyone is talking about and not have a feeling about Absolutely. that? Absolutely. She I didn't agree. say boycott. She just said, tell them your opinions. Which is a fact. That, she said, she said, do. she said, go to the advertisers, which, which is, I mean, it's a and fact. And she didn't say boycott and tell them to pull their advertising. She just said, you can express yourself. Express yourself and express your feelings. Hey, Chris, what do you think? Hey, man, I think that they have the right at least to uh, suspend uh, Jamel Hill. She's an agent of ESPN, the largest sports broadcasting company ever. And she's telling folks to don't, at, don't buy from these advertisers for this sports company. That's not what she said. Or for this or a sports team. No, no, she said, she said boycott the advertisers. No, That's she, not no, what she, she said, said she did not, not, she she said said, she's sir. not calling for a boycott. That's not what she said, she said sir. She's not calling for what, what yeah. she said. I'm going to read you the exact tweet. She said, if you Please. strongly reject what Jerry Jones said, the key is his advertisers. Don't place the burden squarely on his players. Then she tweeted, just so we're clear, I'm not advocating an NFL boycott, but an unfair burden has been put on players in Dallas right. and Miami with Anthem directors. Right, right. She's not advocating an NFL boycott. She's advocating boycotting Jerry Jones' advertisers no, so she doesn't get money. She said, call the advertisers and, and express your feelings. Well, she she didn't say call. She just said the key is the advertisers. Hello, who's this? Hey, I'm just going to say my name is Jay um, because I don't want to put my son out there like that. Mm -hmm. But, um, yes, I asked him. We were listening to this on the way to school, and I was asking him how he felt about it. You know, when the anthem is played, is he going to take a knee? Is he going to, you know, stand? What is he going to do? And his response was, Mom, um, I'm the only black player on the team, you know, and for him to be in that situation as far as, you know, first of all, he is truly a key player on the team. But for him to be in that situation where he's born, that's kind of disheartening to me. Um, I know what he, he's 15. Mm -hmm. Man. I mean, yeah, I get it. So, I, I mean, understand. All he got to do is tell him, tell him to tell his team that he's Jehovah Witness. He converted to Jehovah Witness over no, the buddy. weekend, and we don't pledge to the allegiance. I haven't pledged to the allegiance. Well, no. I've never pledged to the flag. I grew up Jehovah Witness. Wow. Just say you're Jehovah Witness. Hello, who's this? This is Tanika. I live in Connecticut. I'm so proud of you, Charlemagne. I just got your book the other day. I totally am for the Petty Party. I believe we should call all day. She's in her proper forum. She has an open mic. She, can, she should speak her voice. She should speak her truth. She should not be chastised or reprimanded, or her job should not be at stake. It's nobody safe out here. You have an opinion. You have the right to speak freely and not voice it in a way that you're not hurting anyone. You're absolutely right. No one's getting hurt. She's telling people the truth, and we're afraid of the truth now. And right. by, this and is by, crazy. And I, I agree with that. And by the way, man, the only person that should be suspended for their tweets is Donald Trump. That's like, can, can Donald Trump get suspended from something for two weeks? It doesn't no. seem like it. Yeah, like, not from his job. 585 We're talking Jamel Hill. Should she have been suspended? Call us now. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Now, if you just join us, Jamel Hill from ESPN. She was suspended for two weeks for some tweets she put online. Now, Charlamagne, read the tweets right fast. You got them up. I know you do. Yes, the tweets are, uh, Jamel tweeted out, if you strongly reject what Jerry Jones said, the key is his advertisers. Don't place the burden squarely on the players. Uh, then she tweeted, just so we're clear, I'm not advocating an NFL boycott, but an unfair boycott bird has been put on players in Dallas and Miami with anthem directives and I totally agree like I just I feel like Jerry Jones and you know I'm a Dallas Cowboy fanatic but Jerry Jones is violating his players constitutional rights to protest and now ESPN is violating Jamel Hill's constitutional right to freedom of speech and what else bothers me about this she didn't even say this on ESPN she said this on her social media right like I don't feel like ESPN should have any 
thing to do with her social media. As long as she's not saying anything that's going to get somebody hurt or killed, she should have the right to free speech. Hello, who's this? Hi, this is Danielle in Minnesota. Hey, Good Mama. Morning, Charlamagne. Good morning, Charlamagne. Good morning. TJ Envy. Good We're talking Jamil Hill. Should she have been suspended? You know, I really think that she should take this suspension on the chin and sue the company for violation of her constitutional rights this morning. I agree. Right. I and think Judge that Madison anybody says she would probably win that lawsuit. Uh huh. And I think anybody else who's being ostracized for speaking out against you know, injustices and, and violation of their constitutional rights and others' constitutional rights to also sue. And I think we need to get this on the board. This isn't something that we should keep sitting down and taking lightly. The knee is wonderful. Keep taking it. But there's also other actions. We need to start getting this before, you know, some Supreme Court judges. And I know we're probably going to lose because our celebrity and chief has made it possible to put the people in the office to make sure we lose. But we got to get this on the book. I just see everybody's constitutional rights being violated. And Everybody. for ESPN, this would be a great topic for them to actually have on the show to discuss but they this. whack and they not authentic and they 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 fake so they're not going to discuss the real aside things that everybody's they, talking about yeah aside from what they care about this would be great for their ratings like for them to actually have a real conversation about this absolutely hello, hello who's this hello hey we're talking jamil hill should she have been suspended hey man um I'm from Alabama, right? And, and I'm a lawyer. The constitutional right of free speech, it doesn't apply to, like, private entities and private companies. So while she does have the right to say that in public places, ESPN can still hold her accountable for saying those because I'm pretty sure she signed, like, some type of contract saying that her views should not, like, disagree with the views of the company or something like that, or she basically signed those rights away when she took that job. You know, like, free speech, like, if you're standing outside, you can say whatever you want to say. But if you're inside a business, you can't do that. Just like the NBA has the rule that you have to stand up for the national anthem. That's their rule. They can make that rule. I mean, you're, 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 you're probably you're probably right. I don't know what I don't know what kind Thank of contract sir. Jamel Hill has signed. I just think that if you tweet something in opposition to actually something that's going on in your field, this is Jerry Jones, the owner of the most storied franchise in the NFL, especially the, the or at least the richest franchise in the NFL. My favorite franchise, the Dallas Cowboys. How can you expect a sports? anchor a sports person not to comment on that. No, I, I agree with you. This is something that she has to talk about. This is what you pay her to do. I worked at a job before that told me that if I talked about Donald Trump, I could be fired. Wow. Now, I talked about <laughs> Donald Trump, but I mean, they, they didn't fire me, but I was like, you can't tell me what not to talk about and what to talk about. And that's, that's my, what you're paying me for. I totally agree. And if ESPN does have some rule in place where their personalities can't talk about politics, how can they not talk about politics when politics are talking about them? Right. Donald Trump is up this morning tweeting about Jamel Hill and ESPN. How are they just going to ignore that? But what's the moral of the story? The moral of the story is this, and this is from George Washington. If freedom of speech is taken away, then dumb and silent, we may be led like sheep to the slaughter. I'm all for freedom of speech, baby. I may not even agree with, with, with what you're saying when you're saying it. But, but you I, have the right to say I, it. I agree with your right to say it. Right. As Absolutely. long as you ain't get, as long as ain't nobody getting killed or nobody getting hurt because of your free speech, talk. Hey, 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 hey. The Breakfast Club. Every weekday morning. Tune in.